Hey, Ryan with Stranger with the Weekly Word. My weekly word for you is two common attacks during times of transition. Uh, Psalms 31.15 says this, My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from my persecutors. So we need to understand that, that t- the timing of our life, the rhythm of our life is in the hand of God. The other thing we have to understand is that every God-ordained purpose will be unfolded within times and seasons. Transition is that space between one level or another. I would make an argument. It's one of the most critical and vulnerable states of our life. And I found during times of divine transition, the enemy will often try to strike. And I want to give you two very common attacks of the enemy. Number one, they are attacks sent to offend you. Um, It's vital that you quickly discern and uncover these things in prayer. What do I mean? Well, the Bible calls Satan the the accuser of the brethren. So there are times in transition that there are really ugly attacks of accusation. I say this way, two types of these, external and internal. Attacks where the enemy is stirring people against you. Because the enemy understands that an offended heart is a fortified heart. And the Bible teaches us it's the pliable heart or the tender heart that is receptive to the voice of God and the move of God. If your heart becomes hardened, you are no longer accessible to the prophetic voice of God. And people that get offended are stagnated. So what the enemy does is he plans an attack to offend you. He stirs up accusation. I remember a number of years ago, I went through this. I had a person unfold uh, uh, just a bunch of uh, evil word curses at me. And I had a preacher friend of mine who didn't know anything about this, was not a particularly prophetic person that called me and said I was in prayer. And the Lord told me to tell you not to listen to voices from the low place. Later, I would recognize that I was in a season of transition that was about to bring me to another level. And had I gotten offended by those accusations, I would have been stuck. So it's very important you discern those accusations external. And then there's internal ones. Those are the things going on inside of you. Maybe you prayed for someone to get healed. They didn't. And the voice of the enemy is now accusing the role of God in your life. And you can become offended with the Lord. Why didn't you answer my prayer? Why didn't you this? Sometimes the why is the thing we have to trust God with. Okay. Now let me talk about about the second type of attack that often happens in the midst of or in preparation for divine transition. This is a false sense of confusion. Anytime change is involved, it's going to feel abnormal because you are used to what you're used to. And I found that sometimes when we show up at our next, it doesn't feel comfortable. When we show up at our next, we've never been here before. And we can begin to feel confused. Uh, We can begin to feel as though we don't understand because some of the steps that God is leading us to take don't make sense to our natural mind. It probably did not make sense to the natural mind of Moses to march to the edge of the Red Sea and then to lift up his staff in faith. But that's what God said. It probably did not make sense to Moses to strike the rock that water would come out, but that's what God said. Some things don't make sense to our natural mind and the enemy will try to bring a false sense of confusion. You really have to tap into the wisdom of God in this season called transition. You've got to call out to him, lift your voice up and cry aloud to the Lord. Pray in the spirit because that unravels the mind of God, the mysteries of God. Refuse to be lied to and dominate by your human thinking. Your human thinking cannot always comprehend your next level. So an elevated pathway is going to require greater understanding. This only comes from the presence of God. You've got to seek wisdom and allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Be willing to accept counsel. I found this. Oftentimes your next demands the presence of new voices because they know where you're going to. So be willing to accept counsel. Be willing to lean in. Be willing to listen. Transition can be an invitation to another level of destiny. But there are unexpected twists and turns. Unseen detours are going to pop up. It's part of the journey. As we live fully surrendered to God and in sync with the Holy Spirit, we are going to move from glory to glory. Be determined not to be sidelined by the enemy and to be fully obedient to the Lord. Father, I pray for my friends today that in the midst of transition, any lies, any attacks, any accusations, fall by the wayside. I pray that your word is secure in them and upon them. I pray for wisdom and revelation to be their portion in Jesus name. Amen.